Hi, this is Leah from Palm and Grace. This is a video tutorial for our lead tracker spreadsheet. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to use the spreadsheet and how to use all of its amazing features. If you have any questions at all, please be sure to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help. And without further ado, let's get into the video tutorial. The very first page that you're going to want to go to is the Start tab. This is a tab that is going to set up the entire spreadsheet. The very first thing you want to do is select your week start date from this dropdown, so either Sunday or Monday. For me, that's Sunday. Scrolling down, there are a variety of different dropdowns and different options that you can include. You can see that we've already added some, however, you can customize these completely to your business or to your needs. And lastly, at the bottom, there's another drop-down section for communication log contact types, which is another tab included in this spreadsheet. Once you've filled out the drop-down options to your liking, you can now move on to the rest of the spreadsheet. It is important to note that you can come back to this tab later on and add more options as you need to. The next tab is the dashboard tab. However, as you can see, since we have not yet added any leads, it's completely empty. So we'll come back to this tab later on. The next tab is the lead tracking tab, where you can keep track of all of the leads for your business. Add in a lead, first add in the client or company name. You can then choose to add in a contact name, a contact email, or a phone number. After that, you can select from the dropdown how the lead contacted you or how you contacted them. You can also add in a source, and then you can add in the service that they're interested in that you offer. If you'd like, you can then add in details as well. After that, you can add in the category that the service they're interested in corresponds with. You can then add in dates for the first contact, the last contact, and when you'd like to follow up with them. Once you've done that, you can check the box here. This follow-up date will appear on the dashboard tab, so you can easily see which leads you need to follow up with and when. And lastly, you can add in status options. These options will already be in here for you. As you add in different options, you'll see that the lead to client ratio and percentage will automatically update. When the status is changed to client, the ratio and percentages will go up. But when a client becomes declined, it will go back down. So it's important to make sure that you at least select client or declined so you can see the information over here. And again, you can check the box up here to turn the colors on and off. Now that we have more leads added into the spreadsheet, here's what the dashboard tab looks like now. This tab is completely automated and will show you different information from your lead tracking tab. And of course, it will update as you update the other tab as well. The single calendar tab is a great tab to view all of the upcoming lead follow-ups that you have for any month and year in calendar form. To use this tab, it's important that you select both a month and a year. The calendar will not populate until you have selected both. Once you select both the month and year, the calendar should automatically update. As you can see when I scroll down, I can see all the lead follow-ups that I have. I can also see which ones have been completed, which are checked off, and which ones have not yet been completed, which are not checked off. And of course, like everything else in the spreadsheet, I can also click any of the symbols to jump to that lead in the lead tracking tab and update it as needed. Scrolling to the right, I can see a list of all the lead follow-ups for that month. And again, I can click any of the symbols to jump to that lead in the lead tracking tab. This is great to see everything that you have in one place. If I scroll to the bottom, I can see how many lead follow-ups I can see out of the total number for the month. This is helpful in case this whole section gets filled out to see how many total lead follow-ups you have. Now there may be a case if you have many lead follow-ups scheduled for one day or you won't be able to see all of them in that day's section because of spatial constraints. That's why we added this section to the left. In this section, you can select any date from the chosen month and year and see all the lead follow-ups that you have due for that day. This is incredibly helpful. If you scroll to the bottom of this, you can also see how many are showing out of the total number for that specific day. And if you look above it, you can see an automated progress bar of how many lead follow-ups have been done in the month. And that is how to use the single calendar tab. The next tab is the communication log tab. Here you can keep track of any communications with clients, leads, and more. To add in a communication, you can first begin by typing in the name of the client. You can also add in the names of clients or potential leads that are not included in your lists. 
You can then add in their contact name, the date, the contact type, any information, and any notes. You can also use this drop down here to highlight any specific communications. Once a name is selected, you can see how many communications you have with them as well. If you scroll to the right, you can sort and filter your various communications. So for example, you can search by a specific name, and then you can search by a specific type if you'd like, and you can also sort by ascending or descending order of date. And that concludes our lead tracker spreadsheet video tutorial. Again, if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to help. We truly hope that you enjoy this spreadsheet. If you have yet to purchase this spreadsheet and would like to, I will leave a link to the spreadsheet in the description box below. Again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you around again here soon.